another travel vlog and today I'm traveling from Singapore to Thailand if you haven't watched my previous vlog I traveled in Singapore okay not for a long time but just for a you know a short time and it was such a long vlog and exciting one so you better watch it after this anyway here they were just loading our bags into the plane flight from Singapore to Thailand, Krabi to be specific, I think it takes around two to three hours and within no time we had landed in Krabi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Krabi. The local time now is 25 minutes past 12 in the afternoon. Hey guys, finally I'm in Thailand. <laughs> Let me see if I can use the Wi-Fi, the airport Wi-Fi to find a taxi so that I can go and buy a SIM card from outside. How Singapore money looks like Oh, this is their president, or their first president, I don't know. This is their five dollars, and this is their ten dollars. I want to go and exchange and get the belt. <laughs> I don't even think it correctly, the Thailand money. I'm from Singapore, then now Thailand, then next Bali, and um, Let's see what happens in Thailand. I meant to book excursions. That, actually, that's what I'll do once I arrive at my hotel. I've taken a pamphlet from the company I've used to take my taxi. Top of my list is the boat tour. I'm looking to do them tomorrow. And also the things, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I'm so random when I travel. <laughs> I didn't even book a taxi like I just arrived at the airport and I booked them I don't know how long it takes from Krabi to Aonang because the hotel is in Aonang I want to give you guys a quick room tour yeah so this is the entrance to my room and here I have bathrobes I have some towels to go to the beach or the pool I'm thinking of going to the pool right now and it's 7 p.m. some umbrellas I just put there my scarf <laughs> makes it look bad and my small suitcase and bag then coming over to this side there's this shelf which has a safe the just wi-fi things so i have a safe there a place for beverages you know some nuts anyway and here goes my fridge but then this does not come complimentary so I either eat them or if i drink them i'll pay for them okay the ones that come complimentary are the beverages this one water and the coffee yeah so from here come to this area sorry it's like in a mess i was eating so yeah don't mind the mess this is how it looks like i love this because i can watch television in english but yeah another thing i love about this room is oops but then i'm in my swimsuit and i told you guys i'm about to go to swim right now at what's the time seven yeah so I mean my swimsuit and my cover up so this is how the place looks like i have a place to charge i don't think i can walk from here maybe it's a small space i think i can walk from this is the working space look at this like there's a lot of space in this room then here now you have the bathroom i took a shower sorry this, this lunch i had this is the bathroom area some soaps then off to this other side is the 
toilets okay then this is how this space looks like and this mirror it's touch yeah so from this angle this is how my room looks like i have here my bed i was walking from here i was trying to book tomorrow's excursion last minute but i've already found it and i'm so glad i found it yeah, this is a storage thing yeah oh i can't lift it i don't want to destroy my nails but then my nail is already broken that's not all moving from my bed now this is where we are talking oh but then my bed comes with the reading lights so i can decide to read my book i left my book in indonesia i didn't come with it anyway from my bed let me come to this side so you see so from my bed i have my bathtub and you guys should see the views during the daytime i'll show you tomorrow it's amazing the pool view it's so amazing but yeah there goes the pool you see that yeah that's the pool and we have some private pools down here it's such a beautiful hotel it's one of the beautiful hotels i saw when i was booking this room so yeah i'll have a bath today here order in some food then next here i have this glass sliding door here i don't have a sliding door here i have a sliding door i come to this chill place there's also a fan. The remote is there. I've seen it somewhere here. Yeah, behind that thing. So I'll be chilling here as I overlook the views. These are my views. How beautiful. So beautiful so pretty so right now the pool is closed as you can see oh it's so pretty look it looks so cute and the colors are changing see now oh i can also go back to my room through this route you see and this is the reception this is the restaurant so probably tomorrow I'll come to the restaurant. I'm not so sure though. This is just outside of my hotel. Look. It's so calm. Like right now it's only 8.32. See? Yeah, that's the name of this hotel. It's called Infinity. Yes. Can't wait tomorrow to go for the excursion. Damn, this road looks so deserted. This one small dog running. Ah, it's so cute. Look. Oh. Let it come. Let's see if it will come here. There it goes. Lonely dog the only car that's available right now <laughs> have a look at it lonely dog in the, in the streets of Krabi oh I think it's coming to me guys I didn't call it oh my god look uh oh I think it's going to check in oh oops oh wow oh my god it's just by its own <laughs> it's like how we lie past here <laughs> oh poor dog i feel like calling it but you know i'm so scared if it bites me but it looks like it has a mission like it's going somewhere so urgently it's just following the road it's like it's it's been sent somewhere and it's been told follow the road you know <laughs> you see still going and going anyway yeah so this is my hotel i need to go and order something to eat 
so let me go i need to rest actually i've been up and down since yesterday yesterday at time now i was in singapore up and down this is a pretty much new hotel from what i've read online it was only opened last year so the rooms are um you know they are new oh they have something like a shrine here is this something i've seen in southeast asia even in bari so they put these little shrines you don't know if it's a shrine or what but they put some see there's soda and one thing i've noticed everything in thailand it's written in the i don't know if it's bahasa or what this language even the signposts it makes it a bit hard to understand these are the rooms with the pool is the pool look at me hey <laughs> my i'm so sweaty like southeast asia it's so hot but i think the hottest southeast asian country i've gone to is malaysia Ooh! it was so hot like you just go outside and the heat of hotness hits you <laughs> my face will remain oily for the better part of my malaysian my which country am i in? thailand my thailand trip so i'm just from making room service that's the good thing about vacation like just making room service knowing that you'll be served some nice food in a comfy bed with a very nice bathtub and nice views it's the experience for me <laughs> my food just came orange juice some fruit platter oh it looks so nice and oh this food is so tasty that's why i've ordered like twice yeah oh it's so cute Hey guys, so this is the breakfast, different things. I don't know whether I should have pastry, maybe, <laughs> not so sure. Yeah. Then the strawberry, we have steamed rice. Oh, actually you can see from there. There's the fried rice, there's the noodles, chicken. Boiled rice with chicken. Huh? This one is new. Maybe I will try it. Some sauce, orange juice, pineapple, fresh milk. I've just taken fried noodles and chicken and two juices. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll go for some more. Not maybe. I think I'll go for some more because today I have an excursion and we're going to Fifi Island. So <laughs> it's gonna be a big day today. So in that excursion, they're providing lunch. Yeah, and I have just a few minutes to finish all my food, so I need to eat fast. Hmm. Oh wow, I love the fried rice and this. Next I'm having some salad. Took some cabbage, carrots, uh, corn. This thing, I forgot in the name. And some dressing and a uh, banana streams are slowing down to get their sleep they've had enough bringing life to others at last i'm done with my no i was about to stay dinner i'm done with breakfast i came to come and swim in this pool oh yeah if i come back early then i'll come to swim they also have another pool 
at the rooftop but it's closed at the moment or it's not open i don't know so nice the morning sun good perfect now let me show you my room during the night the day the morning my bathtub it has the pool views like i'll just push this thing up they're called what blinders then i'll have the view of the pool so cute and my resting area yeah actually i already pulled this one up mm -hmm. anyway i'm preparing to leave now then go and wait for my driver at the reception i like this chill town it's not a big city it's just a chill beach town you know and i'm looking to explore it at night so stay tuned for that it's gonna be so much fun we'll be walking down these streets at night seeing the various joints and all the night activities happening have a look at this road i mean it's so dreamy it's very beautiful so right now we are just picking up people then we go to the beach to the boat tour so yeah i'm so much looking forward to this to this day and the sun is out that's what i was hoping for because sometimes it's raining so the sun is out it's a good day when i looked at the weather online it showed that today it will be overcast meaning there will be clouds and some rain but yeah. <laughs> today it's sunny to go to the boat i have made the payment and yeah i'm so much ready for this fifi island so as you can see behind me people are registering so after you register you're given this black band but it depends on the island you're going to if you're going to a different island is the Kosan. there are many islands here in krabi where you can go so yeah i'm going to pipi pipi you know i was saying fifi island but it's not fifi it's pipi <laughs> so i'm going to pipi island i've been given the black band and yeah, I'm waiting here as well. I was registering all these people here, they're going to the Pippi Island. And that's the one we came with. Yeah, this is how the city, the town looks like. Phone protector for the water. I don't know which color she'll choose, either blue or pink. I think the the pink one is good, yeah. Looks good. So let me choose pink. It's only a hundred baht. I forgot to show you guys, so when you arrive they offer some refreshments. You can have coffee, is this coffee? Yeah, coffee, or I don't know if it's tea, some snacks, and those bananas. So, yeah. I'm still waiting to go to, to be called. So far they have called on the people with pink wristbands. Right now we are going to the boat. Let me give you a quick tour of how this place looks like there's the golden beach there and there are very many shops selling water stuff so if you forget your swimming costume <laughs> you're not bad you can get one from one of these shops there's an ATM See? I'm so glad today it's sunny oh my god Okay, cross. I did black kid, red kid. Wow. The ocean is calling me. I don't know where we are going. Probably it's this. Yeah. 
Only two things I need to ask of you before you go in. We have like water on the boat. Or you may eat the snack. After you finish rubbish, don't throw in water. Yeah. Okay? And some other guys know dustbin. You have rubbish, take bite, you have dustbin on the boat. Easy, right? Easy. Yeah. Second, before you get unclean sand from your choose of body, the boat's allergic to sand. Okay? Easy, right? Let's go. Yeah, look. This is our guide, Rang Tawan Tour. So this is the boat. That's where the driver is sitting. Then, yeah, that's how it looks like. I'm sitting at a very nice location. I love this. It's higher so I can take some nice videos as we go. And today you're gonna be with me, okay? My name's Pokemon Pony. <laughs> I know it sounds difficult. Just call me Max. <laughs> yeah, easy, right? Yeah. Max, okay? Yeah, my name's difficult. He knows. <laughs> because I feel like I'm in a dream like just have a look at this place it has been my dream place for a long time the first time I saw this place I was very young I was in primary school and I saw a cover page was it a cover page or it was just a picture in a geography book look at this nature these limestone rocks with clear blue water this is definitely what I signed up for this is what I came for it's so clear it's like a swimming pool very clear water. I've never seen this clear water before. My goodness, it's so clear. And we have these limestone rocks. So this one, the guide has told us it's called Pile Lagoon. Um, at the Pile Island. Uh, hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to get to that point. So let's go. You need to be extra careful when you're swimming here because of the surrounding boats. And can you imagine, this is not even summertime. I was told during summer this place it's normally full. Even swimming is a problem. So I came at the perfect time. The sun is out, water temperature is perfect, very spectacular views, not many boats around. I'm just enjoying my time here at the Pile Lagoon. And this is definitely one of the excursions that you should not miss when you come to Thailand. I'm in Pile Lagoon in Thailand, swimming. These are my views. <laughs> oh yes, I had to have a life jacket. I could never swim without a life jacket. Uh-uh. Even though I know how to swim, 
The water is warm. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I'm good at swimming. However, when it comes to the ocean, the sea, <laughs> find me with a life jacket because there ain't no effing way I'm swimming in this water. Look, without a life jacket. I have a fear of huge water bodies. So if my legs are not reaching down, I need a life jacket ASAP. <laughs> Look at these views, oh my gosh. I remember seeing a cover of, was it an atlas or a book? Geography book. With this, you know, the cliff and this blue clear water. I didn't know it's here. So you can see there are a lot of tourist boats around. I don't know if when I was talking it was focusing, but I was saying, I saw this place in a cover of a book when I was in primary school. I didn't know it's Thailand. And right now i'm here i'm so grateful uh, this has been my on my bucket list so i have ticked it off my bucket list now i still wonder how the trees grow on these rocks i don't know <laughs> look the trees and the rocks it's crazy huh is the viking cave unfortunately it was closed but in this cave it's where you have the swift nests which are used to make the chinese specialty bird's nest soup this next stop is called monkey bay i know look have a look at this it looks like a wallpaper right <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you really like the clear waters and the views. Just general look of this place. Give this video a thumbs up. Anyway, this is the Monkey Bay. And in this bay, as the name suggests, it is populated by monkeys, as you guys can see. Avoid holding any snack when you're here because these monkeys are aggressive. And since people feed them, once they see boats, all of them come here to just, you know, wait for food to be thrown at them. And unfortunately, some people litter and that's why you're seeing some plastic bottles please don't litter the ocean the water looks so beautiful just have a look at this like why would you throw a plastic bottle so if you book the pp island tour you'll stop here at the monkey bay and have a swim that's what we did we enjoyed the water had a swim just chilled by the beach and some of the activities you could do here include snorkeling kayaking chilling on the beach taking a leisure dip as well as admiring the road jungle Before we break for lunch, we passed by this place to enjoy some snorkeling. It was the perfect place to see these colorful fish because the water was so clear, you know. <laughs> I snorkeled for a few minutes, then came back to the boat to enjoy some few drinks as I wait for others to get done. I'm just from snorkeling. There are a lot of tiger fish here. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> so right now I'm having a soft drink. People are still snorkeling as you guys can see the water is so clear you can see the tiger fish a lot of them in this water and I can see them from here actually. Ah, I'm really enjoying Thailand.
Very yeah. many boats around, so people yeah, can call your advice yeah, to yeah. circle in the, on this side because of the boats that are passing from a distance. Oh, and I've seen a very big ship. Is it a ship or a ferry? What one? Let me try to zoom. Look at that. Yeah, that's the biggest one I've seen so far. Yeah. It looks like there is a resort somewhere there. It must be nice. Those rooms must have very nice views. So we are about to go. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, we got to Tonsai Bay, and this is where we are having our lunch. It's a buffet lunch. Did I mention that I paid 1800 baht for this excursion? That's around 7,800 Kenya shillings. That pad thai is very good. Pad thai? Yeah. I'll one try of the top vision talent. It's very good, yeah. The red one, this is Tom Yum. Oh, yeah, okay. it's Thai soup, yeah. Nice. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you. So, I've decided to have the chicken curry first and the rice and some watermelon. Then, um, our guide has recommended um, another, it's, it's called pad thai. So, I'm gonna have it after I finish this, you know, just to taste it and see. Like people, it's so many expectations, so many things. Mm -hmm. it's, the plane is going like a million miles an hour always. Here, it's very like chill. So it made me realize, I don't know, the important things. Like I want to like have kids and like just live somewhere like this. Eat fruit that's like not gross. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In America, our food uh -huh. is awful. It's just like everyone says in America, food is not good, and it's not. The portions are so big. Are big. <laughs> it's not even that the portions are big because I feel like in Thailand, portions are huge. At least, like most of them mm -hmm. in the street food. But the thing is, it's like the quality, the, mm. like the, the chemicals. So it's just not natural. Oh, so you, you eat GMO? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for this trip was to experience the PP Island tour and to just have you know the sun sand and sea and so if you want such when you come to Thailand you have to consider where you're going because Thailand is so big you have Bangkok but that's city vibe so if you want this go to Koh Samui, Krabi, Pattaya you'll experience this. I only speak a little bit of Korean too I want to get better um, but yeah I definitely also I miss Mexican food oh my god I've never tried Mexican food. Oh, oh I have God. only the nachos, burritos. No, 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 and you gotta, <laughs> the you normal gotta, ones. No, you gotta have a fish taco. A wow. Mahi Mahi fish taco. That's like a classic Docal, like Hawaiian, Mexican kind of blend. It's like white white fish, uh -huh. mahi mahi, with like uh coleslaw, like a cabbage slaw, uh -huh. cilantro, lime, and a tortilla. It's wow. amazing. And just all the tacos, like carne asada tacos. Uh. It's just like, so I miss that. That's something I miss really bad. The next time I come to Southeast Asia, I'll visit Thailand for longer than Philippines. I've not been to Philippines. I think on the, oh, in Vietnam, yeah. Mm. Vietnam. Have Vietnam yet? Mm -mm. I want to go there next year. And I want to go to, I want to go to Bali at some point. Oh, Bali is nice. Bali, isn't it like, it's more like partying, young, it depends on where you are. So, if you stay in Ubud, it's more like nature, chill vibes, you know. Go to Changu, a place called Changu or Seminyak. Now that's where party, beach clubs, all the life. Oh, I, would go there. <laughs> I would go there for like a month, honestly. Yeah, do a month, yes. A month will be enough. So does it want spring still here? They don't make haste because they know what's coming. Wash away our broken years, but it's so hard in the cold summer.
one that's 50 bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. You should go to Bangkok though, and then go to Chattachuk. Uh huh. It's an, it's an insane, the biggest like market. It's just tons of food, tons of shopping. Uh huh. So like all your souvenirs that maybe you want to get, you buy at Chattachuk. Cheddar chunk. Yeah, it's on Saturdays and Sundays, and the best time to go is like early afternoon. Oh, okay. It's great. Wow. Great. Oh, it's good that we took this walk. Actually, it's such a nice, cute, small town. So now, if you want to imagine what walking down this small village stroke town feels like, picture the following. A t-shirt shop, a tattoo parlor, a bar, a dive center, a tattoo parlor, a fast food, a bar, a travel agency, <laughs> a massage parlor, repeat again and again. Several boats dock here in the afternoon and that's when you'll see several people around. The crowd emerges to hang out in the streets, shopping, drinking too early or having a massage. There are plenty of massage parlors along this stretch plus, you know, plenty of small restaurants for all tastes and budgets but most look some what tourist is. so expect tourist prices if you happen to buy anything in this small town actually the prices here are more as compared to where i'm staying Aonang. if you want to save on some coins then this is not the best place to go shopping for your souvenirs or anything else but yeah if you want to splurge you can buy literally almost anything that you need for the beach or your souvenirs from this town <laughs> So right now we are heading back to the boat. Here is our boat and yeah, oh it's been so much fun. I've had a good good time. You really wanna book this trip if you want to enjoy Krabi well. Oh that comes in. Wow. Yeah, so time to go back. But I think we have like two more places to go. I'm not so sure. But I think so. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Those type of movies where the plane, you know, yeah. lands. Have you watched? It's called what? The island? Oh. There's like a bunch. A plane like crashes. Cast away. Yeah. You're stuck in an island. Yeah. You have nowhere to go. Where are we going? Let's go this way. Sea, sun, and sand. That's the vibe here. <laughs> and crabs. And crabs. <laughs> For a moment you might think you're in the Maldives but then you come out and see the cliffs and it hits you that you are literally in Thailand. Yes, the white sands, beaches, the weather is good. What else should I ask for for this day? Nothing. I'm content. I'm happy and I'm living my best life. <laughs> we went and swam in the ocean for a bit. This is the bamboo island. We came relaxed here for some time and now it's time to go back. So See you guys later. The boat just dropped us. I don't know where I'm going. I hope I find our driver. Going back to the hotel. It's been such a nice excursion. I really enjoyed it. My phone is about to die right now. And yeah, it's 
something that I'll recommend you to do when you come to Krabi, Thailand. Go for the PP boat tour and you'll have the time of your life. So right now I'll just go and find my driver. Oh, there goes the... Okay, now I get where we are. <laughs> I was wondering where the driver is because we've been dropped at a different place because the waves, there are these stronger waves where we left where we departed from yeah so right now i'll go i chill at the bathtub Ooh. i chill at the bathtub wow i thought my phone is dying let me show you guys a quick around tour of this place where you take the boat <laughs> this is how i am I think this is the road. I hope so. Yeah, There are restrooms here. I can't even remember how our vehicle looked like. So I'm just going. I'll go to the main show and see if I'll find realize that the video is already so long so watch out for part two if you're yet to hit the thumbs up button please like this video so that it be suggested to other people who are aspiring to visit this place and just to support the channel make sure that you subscribe too so that you don't miss out on my upcoming content until next video bye Massage 199. Oh my gosh, I think I should come for a Thai massage right now.